see a lot of men expecting women in their relation, especially when they're in committed relationships already. Like, they expect the women to go above and beyond and, like, them just almost do nothing. And I feel like it's something that I see a lot outside of social media. I also love when, like, there is a little bit of, like, a a little bit of a gender role in a relationship. I don't, I don't, I'm not a big fan of toxic masculinity or, like, whatever, like, the the norms, I guess. But I like when there's just, like, a little bit of that, like, I'm the man and I'm going to take charge, you know? Like, because, like, why not, you know? I feel like a lot of boys need to start being boys, though. Like, when it comes to, like, the male roles. Because a lot of, like, men nowadays are expecting princess treatment. And it's like, okay, well, I want that energy just as much as, but just as bad as you do. For example, like, let's say I get a flat tire on the side of the road. And we're together. You better know how to change that tire. See a lot of men expecting women in their relation, especially when they're in committed relationships already. Like, they expect the women to go above them. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't this, 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 this delicate situation. Be careful. Be careful. Ain't no way. This, uh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, bro! Are we so? Did I? Am I missing something? Was he not born a a man? Hold on, bro. Am I missing something, bro? I respect who you are right now, but. You went, you was a man and you basically uh, turned into a princess. Well, mm, princess is a stretch, but, um, oh my God, I can't even put the words together. Y'all get what I'm trying to say, dog. I, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I cannot even make this up. I just got back from what I think was a date. And on the on the ride back, he says, I'm going to play you my song. So I'm like... Hold on, before we continue, playing a song on a date is diabolical behavior. But I want to know something. Is it me or the women that be going bald, that be doing the big chop? They be having the yams. Now, this is a conversation me and my wife has had before too. So y'all don't judge me. But it was a point in time where all goddamn... Mm, except for Jada. Lord have mercy. You know what? I'm going to stop while I'm ahead. Cause I, I, it's, it's, it's. Oh my God. You're a secret rapper. He plays me the song. He's rapping all the words. And then he gets to a part where it says, I don't f*** with Bob and Mr. Clean. <laughs> I said, oh really? Oh snap. Like, yeah, my bad. I said, no, but keep, keep going. And he, he kept going. I cannot. Hey, first off, bro. If you're going on a date, do not play your music. That is, that is so Atlanta. I'm not even going to lie. That is so Atlanta. But if you're going on a date, bro, do not play your songs. Okay? Everybody is an aspiring rapper. And I am 100% sure that the ladies would agree with me that once... A chick here that you're an aspiring rapper, she already put you in, like, the fuck nigga category. You want to play a game? Uh, here go Tristan again. Yeah. If I could do a trick on my skateboard first try, you have a beautiful smile. <laughs> if I can do a trick on my skateboard first try, yeah. you have to give me your number. Ah, uh, I see. <laughs> okay, what's your name? Tristan, nice to meet you. Ooh, you actually didn't <laughs> You can do it. Let's go. Um. Woo! We win. <laughs> okay. See? Bye. Bye, bye, kitty. You want to play a game? You can't do what Tristan can do. If you listen to how he talk, bro, he sound like a nerd. But 
that's the trick. <laughs> that's the scheme, bro. He sounds like a nerd. Like he sounds, he don't sound dangerous. That might be it. He sound innocent. Like he's coming with you with a level of innocence. Nigga, you diabolical, bro. That is diabolical, bro. All the guys that I deal with, they got to accept my kids. So, like, I've been seeing this guy. <laughs> and I like him. I really do like him. This somebody, baby and mother. I, when I first came to see him, when I came into his house, the first thing he said was, like, let me show you around my house. And I was like, okay. Like, I just was like, because. That's how it's He's cool. He's cool. He's cool. He's cool. He's so cool. He's very cool. <laughs> um, he's so cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He plays. He, they just won too. They just won. So I just felt so excited to walk around and see what the fuck is going on. So we we're walking around and shit. And I was just laughing. And he was like, "Yeah, like it was a little room with two beds. I have twins." And he was like, "This would be a room for your kids." So it really, that was cute. You know. He flexed, but it was like accepting because it was like, damn, like the first thing he did, usually when I walk in, they be like, straight to the room, straight to the room. You you got to sit on the edge of the bed and let them know like, you know, I may fuck you, but I'm just chilling right now. We just promote unladylike behavior. We're glorifying whole activities. Let, let's, let's talk about that. I do not understand how men who work so hard to have the ability to financially take care of their family and can choose damn near any woman they want and they align themselves with women like this. Like if you hear you hear what she said, she basically said that's not a new occurrence for her to just go to different people's houses. I may f you, I may give you the cheeks, but right now we're chilling. But then y'all wonder, damn bro, why I'm paying her a hundred thousand dollars in child support every month? Cause you stupid. Yes, you too, you too, Brett Pop. Love you so much. Love you. Well, happy birthday. Love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. We love you. Bro, did y'all see the CEO start crying? The CEO started crying, bro. There's a lot of y'all young dudes out here that don't understand the consequences of being a gangster. Now, I don't know his particular sentence or when he's getting out of jail, but if you want to know, if you want to really see the reality of being a gangster, go ahead and look at the case of the dudes that killed FBG Duck. Go ahead and look at the case of the kids that killed XXX Tentacion. Mr. Paul Wright. You turned a robbery into a murder. And on that day, when you stood there and fired that weapon, you didn't just end one life. You effectively ended five lives, including your own. Like I just said, you, you need to understand that when we say life in Florida State Prison, that means life. It is necessarily without parole. Florida abolished parole. You know, as the song says, you can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. You will spend the rest of your life in prison. From here, you will go and be placed in a cell that has a stainless steel slab that's attached to the wall. That's your bed. And next to it is a stainless steel sink and a stainless steel toilet. That's the furniture that you have in that cell. You'll spend every hour and every day and every week and every year of your life in that cell. And one day, they'll come and open up that cell in the morning and you'll have passed on. And only on that day Will you have served your sentence? A jury of your peers having found you guilty of murder in the first degree with a firearm and having discharged that firearm and having that firearm discharge result in the death of Chasse Hanfroy, this court will sentence you to life in Florida State Prison 
with credit for 1,733 days already served. 